Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris and today I'm going to be using the Mercure Futura Futura, again on Cynic 6 with a brand new feather blade and as you can see, oh, as you probably can't see with my camera the 6 is just lined up with a the line there, let's see if I can doesn't auto focus, but it's on setting six brand new future blades, uh, feather blade, future on the brain. Wolf whiskers brush, which I've just had soaking there. Just let it soak for another second while I show you the soap. It's a little bit cooler here today. It's probably about sort of twenty degrees. It's a, quite a cool breeze coming off the ocean, and I'm going to use the obsessive soap perfectionist bay rum. Is it bay rum? Yeah. <laughs> I just got a smell of it. The end. I just got a smell of clove. So I was just thinking, is it clove? Beautiful, beautiful scented soap, really nice. It'll warm me up just nicely. So I've just picked my daughter up from school, taking her around to the dentist in 30 minutes. So hopefully I can get my shave on, get done and dusted and not slice my face up to bits with this Futur razor. Right, so the brush has been soaking. Probably not quite as long as I would like, but it has been soaking. Right, so straight into the dry puck. I've just flipped off all the excess from the brush and let's see what sort of load we can get. I was contemplating doing a face lather, but I'm not going yet. Little brush. Just a dip in the water there just to give me a bit more moisture. Probably flip too much out. I'm just getting used to this brush, this new Wolf Whiskers, which is absolutely beautiful. It's got a lovely knot in it. But as with everything, especially going from synthetic to badger, after not using badger for a while, it, it, there's a little bit more involved when you're doing a ladder, I find personally. I find you've got to think about it a bit more and put a little bit more effort in. The results at the end are wonderful, but just that initial sort of onset. So there we go, I think there's enough in that brush then. Just going to scoop a bit of water in my Saponificio Barracino bowl. This, this soap can take a fair drink, so I'll put a good bit in the bottom just now and then we'll work from there. So it's uh, Tuesday here today. I had a head shave last night with the Merca Futura and using the beautiful Wickham Club Cola soap. And as you can see, I ended up with an excellent shave. It's still very close just now and it's been almost sort of 24 hours. Just add a bit more water. Yeah, it takes it can take a really good drink this OSP soap. And it really does help the lather. Got my bowl of water here is ice cold. I've had a, a full big cup of ice in there which is now melted. But the water is very cold. So that sort of defeats the purpose on a hot day, on a cold day sorry, to do a cold shave. But the great thing with a cold water shave is it allows you to do it anytime, anywhere, without any prep. Well, I don't prep anyway. Now, I haven't used an aggressive razor on my face for quite some time now, so this is going to be quite interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to have one more final dip. I'm pretty much at the consistency I want already. As you can see, it's making a beautiful lather. Quite a lot of weight in this little brush as well, I was quite surprised. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful sheen, beautiful ladder. I'm just going to kick off. There's another hair gone. Good old badger. Dries Chris Bailey, the eye ladder nuts, all the hair that comes out. Doesn't bother me too much because I know eventually this brush will settle down. Nick that I bought it from. I'm not sure how often he used it. Maybe I'm a little bit heavy handed with it. Right, this water's freezing. Whew. Okay, here we go. OSP Bay Rum and the Wolf Whiskers brush. Oh yeah. That feels absolutely beautiful. The face feel on this brush is lovely. It's got quite a good bit of backbone. Just take that 
a little bit higher and just whip the sideburns off completely. No point in having sideburns when you've got no hair on your head, no hair on your face. Oh, I sent on this soap as well. First time I've used this for a shave. OSP make lovely soap, got to say. I love how James just tells you as it is as well. You're not sort of guessing what the soap is. I know bay rum's a subjective scent, it, it smells different on every brand. So this is obviously his scent of bay rum, but you know it's bay rum. It smells, it smells very very similar to all the bay rums I've used. Which are only three I think. <laughs> does it two? That's making my second time I've used one. But it does smell very similar to the original one. That's a beautiful lather. Really, really happy with that. And as you can see the bowl is still chock as full. Be beautiful thick lather, lovely gloss on it. Right, here we go, the Merca Futura. Futur. Setting six. Brand new feather blade. Cold water shave. I've just dipped it in nice cold water. Let's see how we go. I haven't used a, an aggressive razor on my face for a long time now. No pressure at all. This could be a one shave shave, a one, a one pass shave this one. Once again, as I got in my head. It feels very, very smooth. Just had a comment pop up there from Stephen, the Suffolk shaver, saying that it looks like the future's knocked R forty one off the top order for the head. And if I'm honest, mate, with a little bit more practice, I think you're right. I had a few little nicks and bumps and uh, little weepers, but it's a new razor. It's, a, it's got a funny angle. This razor. may have a funny angle, but by jeez, it's efficient. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to change nothing, I'm just going to do it as a normal shave, because I'm giving, a, I'm giving you a false look at it then. Definitely feel the blade, no questions asked, I can feel the blade. It feels sturdy though, to say this cap doesn't feel like it clips on tight, it feels very sturdy. Very comfortable to hold as well. I thought it would be quite slippy. It's not slippy at all. It's quite a grippy razor. Audio feedback. It's, it's probably the best audio feedback I've had from any razor. First pass done, beautiful. Now, I am expecting a bit of irritation because at the end of the day it's still a very aggressive razor and I've not used it before so I don't really know the angles, I don't know how, look at that ladder, look at that, look at the shine on that, absolutely beautiful. The scent, the scent is tremendous. The brush, I struggled with it a little bit yesterday making the ladder, I thought. No such struggles with this one. And it will take time. And I think this brush will only get better with use. Nick, if you're watching, Nick Barry was the guy I bought the, the wolf whiskers off of and he kindly put that Merca Futura in for free as a, as a gift because he wasn't going to use it. I know how jealous he is right now that he's not got it now. So I'm just waiting for the 
waiting for the message on Facebook saying, oh mate, here's a, here's a wolf, whisk, uh, wolf man razor, I'll just swap you, no problem. I want that one back. And I'll be like, yeah, no worries, mate, just send it over. You can have the food tour back. In fact, I tell you what, I'll just buy you a new food tour because that's the kind of guy I am. I'll buy you a new one. And you just send me a wolf man. I, I just don't see what the issue is, Nick. Just get it get it done, mate. Get, get that message sent and we'll, we'll, we'll work something out. <laughs> Oh, this is lovely. This brush is beautiful. I'm so, so pleased. And sort of amazed that Nick's let it go. However, for those of you that know Nick, he's certainly at no shortage of beautiful brushes. They just picked up a Paladin. Um, I can't remember the actual brush. It's the one that's really bright pink, purple soil. It was in my head there, but I can't. I just lost, I've lost the name of it now. Right, across the green. Jesus, there's not much left on there, as you can probably hear. Very light touch. The thing I love about this razor is that, as Paul H says, there's no overhang at all. It's completely covered, so I can go past my nose and not worry about nicking it. So. Kyle, over at the Black Country Shaver, used his gold one on his face, and I don't, I don't know if he video recorded it or not, but he had a torrid time by the sounds of things with this razor. I just seem, for some reason, to go on really well with aggressive razors. I just really enjoy them, even though I've got sensitive skin. I just don't seem to, I just love them. I think they're great. I, I get much closer shaves with much less irritation with a with an aggressive razor. Yes, you've got much higher risk of biting yourself. Much higher. Close. That's really close. I'll just give you a bit of a slickness test. I've really soaked my face off. God, I've got bloody wife's hairs, kids' hairs, just hairs everywhere. Dry, it drives me nuts. No hair on me right now. So here we go. Slickness test. Excellent. Really good. Right. Just gonna go back in here and click some more lather because I've got absolutely loads in here. Look at that. And you're jealous, aren't you? I know you're jealous. No matter who you are watching this, you're jealous of this lather. I'm getting it bloody everywhere. Scent on this soap's lovely. I give it probably six out of ten on scent strength. Scent complexity is definitely up there, but you can it, it does sort of break down a bit. You can sort of smell different scents. Now I can tell you what they are, but I can smell different things. The cloves definitely the standout. That's the the main thing that I get from it. Right, across the green in the other direction.
that's close, really close, extremely smooth. So, uh, Kyle, if you're watching me, the black, uh, black country shaver, if you're watching the feather blade, for me, this works spot on, and this, this is one of the smoothest shaves I've ever had. I did say with these sort of really aggressive razors, you run that risk of being of getting bitten. I feel very comfortable and safe with this razor now. I feel like it's um, I'm going to get a good shave out of it. I'm not going to cut myself without, unless I'm sort of overconfident and negligent with it. But I do feel very confident that I'm going to be okay with it. I'm just going to lather up again. Tidy up around my lips and then I'll probably just whip the rest off with the razor and then go to the post shave. I'm certainly bordering on my best shave so far here, definitely. If I can get through this nick free. That's bloody close. Oh. That's ace, absolutely ace. That soap brush lather razor combination is really, really good. Right, <coughs> uh, what am I going to go with? What am I going to go with? I'm going to go, where is it? Right, some Thea's Unscented Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera because I don't need an alum block because I am. Is that a nick there? No, nope, just a little bit of redness because I think I'm nick free. What a shave. <laughs> Take more. If you watched my shave just after New Year, or round about New Year, um, I think it was after New Year, probably New Year's Day or the day after, I used the Wow adjustable razor, which is a Merca Futur. Um, copy cap, basically the exact same razor, but it had a dodgy angle on it. It shaved beautifully, but this thing, whew, that's that's up there as one of my best. Now, what am I? What I'm going to do soon is I'm going to run a comparison between the progress or the Murgress that I've got and the Futu, and just give you guys a bit of a, a look at the settings. One to one to six, I suppose, and the, the Murgress will be one to five plus one because there's no six, I think. Does it go up to six? Maybe it goes up to six. I don't think so, I think it's just five. Um, I'll need to double check that. Okay, so I've finished off with the witch hazel. 
citrus twist now this stuff you'll probably not be able to get anywhere else than western australia from the natural olive oil company citrus twist and this is quite a complex scent it goes lovely with bay rum you can definitely smell the the orange in it or the citrus but it's very very nice it's got a beautiful slickness on it and then it, it just absorbs so quickly it's all natural there's nothing nothing in there that anyone could worry about and in terms of allergic unless you're obviously allergic to olives and things like that everything's listed on there um, you're not going to have any issues so there we are it, guys what a shave oh yes a little bit of hair just here but i do so i only go one direction all the time down here i don't go sideways or up or anything like that but that's I keep saying it every week at the moment that this is the best shave I've had. I think this is the best shave I've had, <laughs> without a doubt, without a doubt. And it's obviously a combination of everything, including going back to an aggressive razor on my face, which makes a big difference to me. I've had two days growth, so generally I would be expecting to have some sort of issues with some sort of stress on my skin, or especially with such um, blade exposure on your skin. But nothing of the sorts. Absolutely beautiful. Really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did as well. If you've got any questions or comments, pop them down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click the subscribe button. I think as you're looking at it, it might be down this side, maybe that side. Uh, I'll just point sort of both directions. Um, and if you're coming back and you're an existing subscriber, thanks for coming back. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, enjoying the content and, uh, and enjoying my life through shaving and all my vlogs and mail calls and uh, opinions and, and just the way I see shaving from my point of view. And let's say I'm not here to sell stuff to you guys, I'm not here to tell you to buy things, I'm just giving you my opinion on what I think is great and what's not. And I'm relatively new to this shaving, which gives me in some some sort of sense um, a more excited feel about things when I try them. I try these soaps and they're absolutely brilliant, I get really excited about them. And someone that's out there that's tried a thousand soaps might just go, yeah, it's alright, it's the same as the other 50 soaps that I tried before. So... For you guys that are new in shaving, you're probably going to have the same experiences I'm having in terms of software anyway, I would imagine, because you can't lie with a lather, it's either good or it's crap in my opinion, and most of the soaps I use now, most of the stuff I've got gives off a great lather and a great shave. It all comes down to hardware then, and everyone's subjective with the hardware. I can only show you what's good for me, and the Merca Futur is absolutely tremendous, it really is, in my opinion, one of the best razors I've used, if not the best. And that's a big statement to say, considering I love my Mergress, my R41 is great for face shaving as well. And I've been through probably 12 or 13 different razors over my seven months. And that's definitely up there, that's one of the best. So That was OSP Bay Rum, beautiful stuff. The Merca Futur in satin, satin silver finish. A gift from Nick Bariga, thank you very much mate. You've, you've, yeah, I can't thank you enough. Guys that send stuff like this, he also sent a lovely little pouch for it as well, so I can travel with it. And here's the pièce de résistance. Oh, whiskers. Tyrion-shaped handle from Game of Thrones with the... God, it just goes out of my brain every single time. Yeah, the, the doodah, the colour. What the frick's the colour, Chris? Come on, mate, get your act together. It is the Iron Throne. <laughs> That was hard work, that was really hard work. Iron Throne is a colour, and as you can see, it's, oh, you probably can't see. It's black and red, and a silver, a glittery silver through it. It's absolutely beautiful, metallic silver through it. You can see this brush, I think it is this brush that's on both Whiskers' website, on the, uh, the brushes that he's already turned, so you can have a look at them. And it's got a 24mm TGN, which I think is the Golden Nib, two band badger, finest badger not in there, and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The bowl I used was my good old Saponificio Baracino. I say old, it's not, it's very, very new in my day, but it'll be old in 40 years time when I'm still using it, because it's that good. And then finished off with Thea's Unscented Witch Hazel, and a good soothing aftershave lotion from the Margaret River Natural Olive Oil Soap Company. Uh, and that one is Citrus Twist, and it's absolutely beautiful. Quite a complex scent, once again, like a bay rum, but really, really nice. So that, guys, I'm gonna leave you to it. Take care, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.